Hello guys, I'm back again with another video. Before we continue with today's video, let's take a quick recap on what we did on our last video. We looked at this app that form Microsoft Power Platform. If you do remember, just say it with me. This is Power Automate, Power BI, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agents, and Power Pages. Today we'll be specifically looking at Power Automate. We are going to edit our Excel spreadsheet using Microsoft Power Automate. Okay, once we're done with that, let's open our Excel sheet. And this is the information that we should have in our Excel sheet. And we have to convert this information to a table. We have to highlight all this and press Ctrl C, and it will bring us here, and we have to press OK. Once we're done with that, you can see here our table is saved as table 1. You can also change it and save it however you want to save it. Let's go and auto save this. We're going to save it under our OneDrive for Business. Let's save it as sales. Press OK. Here we go. It's saved. Saved as sales. Once we're done with that, let's go ahead and open and start with our automation. Click here on the nine dots and look for Power Automate. Once we get here, let's go and create our flow. We're going to use Instant Cloud Flow. We're going to use a manually trigger flow and we can name this as Update Excel Table. Once we're done with that, you can go ahead and click Create. Once we're here, we're going to click here, we're going to add an input, and we're going to add a text. And here we're going to our input is going to be our ID. We're going to add another input. It's going to be a text. It's going to be a name. Going to add another input, going to add numbers and a sale. Once we're done with that, you can close that and we can add a new step. So, what we're going to add now, we're going to we'll go for Excel online because we're using Excel Sheet. Once we get there, we want to add a row on our Excel. Here we go. And it will get us here. So let's locate our document. Do you remember where we saved our document? My document is saved under OneDrive for Business and Library, OneDrive, for OneDrive as well. And let me go and get my file. Yeah. I saved my file as sales. Uh, yes. And we saved the table as table one. Here we go. Once we get here, ID name sales will, all, will automatically show. And we're going to add a dynamic contact and we're going to look for ID. Here we go. And here we're going to look for name. Here we go. And here we're going to look for sales. We're done with that. Once we're done with that, you can go ahead and save our flow and run it. Our flow is successfully saved. Let's go and test it manually first. Save and test. Excel, we logged in to Excel. Let's continue. Our second ID, we will add our second ID. And the name we're going to say is Segelo. 
and let's say scale of mid sales of 5,000 rand. Let's run the flow. Done with that. Let's test it again. Let's test. We're going to run it three to four times. This is our third ID, and the name we're going to say is Not Handle. And let's say it's Not Handle make a, made a sale of 8,700 rand. Let's run the flow. This is the third ID. Once we're done with that, Let's go in and run it for the fourth time. Test. And this is our fourth ID. Let's go ahead and write Sunil Siwa. And let's say Sunil Siwa made sales of 8,800. Let's run the flow. After we're done with this flow, let's go ahead and check our Excel sheet. Our flow is successfully run. Let's open our Excel and you can see that our Excel sheet has been updated. As you can see, the table has been updated automatically using Power Automate. We didn't have to go on Excel and edit the sales. We simply edited them using Power Automate. So on our next video, we're going to use this automation uh, combined with another automation. Once we're done with this flow, now we're going to do Microsoft Flow and send you an email if the condition is met. We're going to create a new flow now in this case. We're going to use Instant Cloud Flow again. We're going to use Manually trigger again and we're going to name this excel data condition once we're done with that let's go ahead and click create when we get here we're going to add a new step we're going to use excel online and going to look for list row. Yes, list row is present in a table. And it's going to bring us here. Let's locate our document. We saved our document in OneDrive for Business. Documentary library, OneDrive, and let's locate our file. Saved as sales. Now, do you still remember what we saved our table as? Yes, we saved it as table one. Once we're done with that, let's close this and let's add a new step. Now we're now going to use control and we're going to apply to each. And we get here, we're going to add a dynamic and we're going to look for a value here. Now we need to apply condition of them. Let's say we want to know which of one of these sales, let me open our Excel sheet here, which one of these sales are over 8,000 because we want to send a gift to one of our best sales representative in our team. Once we're done with that, we're going to add an action. And then we need a condition. You can see that this is already done. We can choose a value that's equal to a number of your choice. The value will be sales. Sales should be greater than or equals to, let's say 8,000 Rand. The value will go in as a text and 8,000 will go as an integer. 
because we need the conditions applied to each cell. So we will delete the cell and go to expression and type float float. The cell is the column name. This will convert the string to float like a decimal number. Going to go ahead and press OK. Add an action. So we're going to send an email and look for notification. Yes. You want to send an email and on the subject you can write remember send a gift to let's look for a name the name don't forget to leave a space be between two and name so they won't like come out as joined because of sale I would ID okay. and the body we're going to say regards not handle Once we're done with that, we're going to save. Now our flow is saved and it's ready to be tested. Let's go ahead and test it. First manually. Let's save and test. Yes, we logged into Excel and email. Let's continue. Run the flow. Your flow run successfully started. Okay, done. Okay. So now let's check our email. So this is how our emails look like. Remember to send a gift to Sunil Seaway because of sale would fall. Now Sunil Seaway made a, a sale of 8,000 or more. And we also have another email. Remember to send a gift to Snow Thunder because of sale with three. And Snow Thunder also made a um, sale of 8,000 or more. So you can use this flow if you're a company and you're doing sales and you want to recognize your best sale representative. This is the best flow to use. So that was the automation of the day. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, you can ask and I will get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. From me, Nofundo and the rest, Power Junkies, take care.